Okay, just before we start today's show, I'm going to need you to do a couple of things. I don't normally ask this, but I've got something special to give away at the end. So click like and subscribe because we are giving away a soundbar. That's right. There will be a draw for a soundbar and for your chance to win it, subscribe and leave a comment below. Yara 3DX soundbar, any good? Let's find out. One last thing, you will require headphones for this. It's gonna be a good one. So, welcome everybody. This is my review of the Yara 3DX. I'm taking it serious today. I've even got a little checklist of what I need to speak about. So I'm also gonna give you a bit of a setup and demo of how it works and what it sounds like. And it will be in binaural audio. So if you do have a unit or you have headphones, you will actually be able to hear this in a proper 3D binaural recording using special microphones so it's a perfect way to set up and a perfect way to try your system as well if you don't have a Yara 3DX then of course pop on some earphones and you'll be able to have just as much fun okay so let's turn the clock back the year is 2017 and they've launched a thing on Kickstarter called Yara 3DX Yara 3DX is meant to be this revolutionary soundbar that will give you 3D all surround sound just from a bar in front using binaural beam forming technology. Now the company come here seem to know a bit about this and they have used this before in cinemas and theme parks etc and they seem to know what they're talking about. The demos have come over really really well so it's interesting to see actually what it's going to sound like when I actually do the proper testing later on in the video. I'm looking really forward to it and I'm glad it's going to be a, it's going to be a good one. I'm looking forward to this. So we all sponsored it, or mostly sponsored it in 2017, and yay, it didn't arrive. It actually ran into some problems. Now, it depends on who you speak to, what the actual problems were, and what the solutions were as well. I'm not terribly sure what happened, or whether it's as true as what they say on the website. I don't know, but the main thing, it has come through. And that's a very good sign, because normally these Kickstarters, if it's a bit of a... Um, rubbish idea and there's not much following then what they tend to do is just well sack it off like several things I've been involved in and you never see it but come here have pushed and pushed and pushed to fund the Yara 3DX project so that tells me something there must be something special about this and that's a good sign that's a very very good sign so you may be wondering what do I know about sound bars well as you can see sound is a big part of my life I know lots about audio etc etc I love home cinema, I love speakers as well, but speakers and home cinema, that's what I really like. I like headphones, I like, I like all audio, I like anything, I love music, I love anything, I love it all. So what's my history? Well, I've normally had a normal wired surround sound system, but due to moving etc, I've moved into sound bars. I've had a couple of sound bases, I've had a couple of sound bars from several different brands. I'm going to put it out there and I'm going to tell you my favourite soundbar of them all are Yamaha. In my opinion, Yamaha make the best soundbars. I have uh, two YSP soundbars. They're expensive, but they just deliver absolutely fantastic results. They use beamforming technology similar to this, but using a different setup of speakers. So the biggest one I have used is something like 46 speakers to give you this beautiful widespread sound which is well it's pretty fantastic to be honest with you they have made them smaller with several speakers and they also do one called the air system which just uses two speakers or some with four speakers which gives you a very good effect but anyway whichever one you buy i've never ever had any real problems with the yamaha soundbar systems i think they're really really good but when this came across my desk on an email i thought i really would like to try this as someone who appreciates the beam forming technology i thought this might be just perfect for what i need it looks a lot smaller than the bigger yamaha ones i use so i'm expecting the results to be well i don't really know it's going to be a really good test uh from what the people have said when i look back at the reviews it looks really good there's no proper reviews here on youtube i had i did try to do one 
to give the principal of Hyatt words about a year ago. So it was hard though because no one got any units and it's well, uh, it's all just gone to a kerfuffle. But now here we are today and we've got the actual real sound bar set up live for a proper demo which we're going to get towards the end of the video. But before that I'm going to show you how it works. So basically, come on, I'm even checking my notes. Fantastic. Basically, it's using a setup of software and algorithms which gives you a binaural breakdown of the sound. So what we're going to do in a moment is I'm going to give you a little bit of a setup helper. So it's going to be a binaural recording and I'll have one playing on the right channel and one on the left channel. I'm going to take away the left channel, leave you just the right channel. I'm going to take away the right channel and you leave you just the left channel. So in theory, you can fine tune your system so you make sure you're in this perfect spot for that binaural recording. Then we'll have a quick walk around so you can get an idea of how it sounds, having a proper binaural recording. And then we're going to put the binaural microphones in front of the Yara 3DX and you will have a proper true life experience to what it sounds like to own one of these sound bars. So let's begin. Okay, so welcome back. So we've moved on now. This is how we record the binaural audio. So this is a Sennheiser headset and basically it has two ear pieces left and right and they're pretty much just normal kind of headphones but the secret with these is in the backs of them is built in speaker so when i position these in my ears it uses the normal ear setup to reflect the audio and give you kind of a binaural setup to get the proper 3d surround sound so i'm going to plug them in and you'll hear the difference straight away hopefully and then we'll play some music Okay, so now we're recording in binaural audio using these headphones and my ears. So you should hear this kind of sound and depending where I am and what I'm doing, where the clicks are coming from. Sometimes they come from over here, over there, sometimes right next to your ear, sometimes above your head. Sometimes they come over somewhere. And we can clap. Okay, so you've got the rough idea of what it should be sounding like. We'll go for a walk around the house lane. Like, it's kind of gives you a really good idea of the for fullness you get from this. So, why we're we doing this? This is a lovely little way of setting up your speaker so you know the difference from your left and the right channel. So you can try and sweetly tune that spot. How are we going to do it? Well, quite simply, I'm going to play audio using... Uh, this the audio is not very good by the way it's obviously got to be copyrighted or copy free should I say so we can play it I'm going to unplug one speaker so we're just getting left and then I'm going to unplug the other speaker so we're just getting right so when you're beaming up your setup you'll know that's just the right channel what you should be hearing and that's just the left channel what you should be hearing so we're able to really tell how much difference that makes when I'm speaking like this does that make a difference when I speak like this You can kind of hear when you're recording, so it gives you kind of a weird sound. But anyway, headphone time. So I'm going to play a bit of music so you can roughly hear what it sounds like, and then we'll isolate each channel. So I don't know how this is going to look on your end from the left and the right. Uh, I will tell you. So sometimes when the pictures reverse, and you might not know which one I am. So this is going to be both ears. So here we go. This is both ears. And um, da, 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 um, here we go. <laughs> channels so we're going to isolate the left channel now and make sure it doesn't hear anything how oh, do you think this through a little you'll be hearing the, <laughs> the right channel uh, with just the music so here we go if you can hear me so this would just be the right channel only Okay. 
Okay, so that's just the right channel, and now I'm going to put this back in, and we're going to just do the left channel only. So, use this to set up your home cinema, and you can definitely sort out the left and the right. We've had some defined channels there, so it's only going to be on the left-hand side. So when I'm playing it just on the left or just on the right, you want to try and get that square in your face as much to this kind of ear as you can to get the proper effect. So now it's going to be just the left channel, just left channel. And here we go. Okay, so that's just the left channel, and now we'll go back for left and for right. So now we're back to normal kind of stereo band oil. Anyway, so that's that. So I'm going to give you a quick walk around the house so you get an idea of how it sounds and distances and that kind of stuff. And then we're going to go to what you've been waiting for, the proper binaural test of the Yara 3DX. You're going to be able to experience this with just a pair of headphones sat in your own house and you'll be able to see if this is the sound bar for you. So, let's have a little walk first so you get a rough idea what you're looking for with a sound awareness. Okay, so this is the setup, the Yara there. We're just beaming over. Nothing grand in this kind of setup here, but we're looking for very good results. We're going to do the live testing and see how we get on. So this is now being recorded in final audio, so you can get an idea of what it sounds like. Let's move that out of the way, and we'll open this door, and then we're just going to leave this room and come into the corridor. And that's that closed. That's good. Okay, uh, just into the kitchen. You've got to see and hear what it's like. So this should be giving you what it actually sounds like in real life. See, us YouTubers don't make loads of money because all I've got is a El Toquito chili con carne pizza tonight, but hey, hopefully it'll be nice. So, there we go, that's a rough idea what it sounds like in binaural audio. Alexa, what's the date today? It's Friday the 12th of July. So it's Friday the 12th of July, as per Alexa. So, this is what it should be sounding like. You get a really good spatial awareness. Are we going to get this same kind of effect from the Alexa? Uh, from the Alexa. From the Yara, that's what I want to know. How good is it going to sound? That's the food cooking. So, how good would it be? Alexa, set timer for two minutes. Two minutes, starting now. So that's the time is set. So, we're all set now. This is your demo of binaural recording. Hope you've enjoyed it. And now we're gonna go to the Yara and see what it's like. And don't forget to listen back to that on your Yara or with your headphones. You'll get the full experience of what binaural audio sounds like. So, last stop. Here we go. This is the Yara. So, here's the unit as you can see. It's a nice looking bit of kit. Uh, I went for the silver one. I probably should have gone for the black one in hindsight, but never mind. I have noticed the label here looks like it can come off. These are a manufacturer of brown goods. Brown goods are the goods you can sell under different names. So maybe that is something they've got in the pipeline for this particular product. It's nice enough though, uh, I will have to say, the remote control it comes with is sh rubbish. The S word beginning with rubbish. What a rubbish, rubbish remote control that is for such an expensive soundbar. Anyway, let's uh, let's give you a demo of what it sounds like. So this is it, guys. So this is recorded in binaural. Exactly what it would sound like if you're sat here right now. Okay, here's another 
another demo, once again off the CD. Okay, so we're going to talk a bit now about the sweet spot. So I've got it set up now, so it's actually not the sweet spot where I am. The sweet spot is just over there in that stool. Now, it is a proper movie, so we're only going to play a few seconds of it because you know what YouTube are like. So this isn't in the sweet spot. Listen to the voice you can hear. Don't forget, this is all in proper binaural audio, so this will just be how it sounds at your house. It will be unclear now, and then as we move into the sweet spot, you should hear the person's voice become a lot clearer. So, here we go. And the ring of power perceived. Its time had now come. It's abandoned, Colin. The sweet spot. sweet spot okay so this demonstrates the sweet spot again so it's still set up the same I'm sat as you can see right in front of me it does it sounds crap in other words then I'm gonna move over and see if it makes a difference with the sweet spot so let's uh, try that Obviously, you move the sweet spot to where you want it, but it just sounds. Uh, once you're in that spot, you still hear it. It's still just as loud, just not as crystal clear. So I have to apologise. Obviously, you're kind of limited to what you can demo here on YouTube. Uh, so a lot of it's just the, the music. I'm going to put a bit of live TV on there. Wimbledon, you've been watching it, and this is what a standard kind of TV program sounds like so there's nothing special here that's going to pop out but th there's a good sound and i think you'll enjoy it but this is grass i think any other surface i would give djokovic a bigger edge slight edge to djokovic in that he takes the ball earlier he's not gonna give roger that much time to hit his shots and also novak redirects really well from both sides he doesn't run around his back that's just the woman talking let's see if it's a bit more exciting on the old television natural world how's about this some man in the motor. Ah, there we go. He's a rehab that was released back into the forest about two months ago. Because the Javan slow loris is one of the world's most critically endangered primates, every animal that leaves the center is closely monitored. So now we've gone into game mode. Of course. Let's see what it sounds like in game I'm sorry, mode. Dad. Take as long as you need. No, no, it's okay, Tesoro. It's time I told you what happened to him. It was during our last battle together, just a few days after our 21st birthday. My brother's battalion had been ordered to capture a fort deep into enemy territory. I wasn't going with him. I was part of a special unit with a different mission. Our task was to support Mateo's battalion. We were a proud unit. We changed the war for Italy. The Arditi. Yeah, there we go. So this is actually now proper live gameplay. Oh. It's a very good when surround sound, isn't it? Forward, I had to fight up the mountain and take out anything targeting his unit. The story you definitely you. hear it all around you. Obviously, you're going to struggle to get these back channels because without a physical speaker there, they've always struggled to try and get that effect. But that's a room filling effect. If you've got your headphones or you're hearing this in the yard yourself, it's a, it's a very good room filling sound, that's for sure. Wow. Okay, so this is the big one. This is the virtual barber shop. 
Now, in theory, if you've never listened to this, by the way, and you've got headphones, uh, use the proper link, uh, type in virtual barbershop. It's a very good illusion of what your head can hear. So, in theory, the Yara will give us a similar effect as to how good it will be. I'm not terribly sure, but this is the big one. This is what they showed at the demo. This is what it said it's meant to be able to do just like replacing actual headphones. So let's have a play at the virtual barbershop and see how good it is. And here it goes. Oh, oh yes, as I was saying, all we are doing is using your head as the listening point. And we have two microphones, one on either side of the head, in the same position as where your left and your right ears are. Your brain is doing all of the work, telling you where the sounds are coming from. Okay, I'll go get the scissors. Oh, yes, that's sharp. Now, as I begin the clipping, now bring the clippers closer to your ear. Very closer to the right ear. Follow me as I move around the back of the head to the left ear. And up and over the top of the head. Okay. Now, you can get the same effect better with the electric razor. I'll first bring it close to your right ear. So there we go, that concludes the demos. Like I say, I do apologise, you're kind of limited to what we can actually play here on YouTube due to copyright. So, it's pretty good, isn't it? I was quite impressed with the barbershop. Like I say, if you've listened to this, luckily how we can record it in the binaural, you will get the true effect of what it's like actually being there and experience the sound bar for yourself. Now, it's not actually on full release just yet, but I have been guaranteed by Com here, who are helping me out, and they're going to supply a sound bar, and then we can obviously give it away in the future. Also, I'm going to leave links below once it becomes out, and we can let you know how you can get a hold of one of these yourself. So, there we go. What did you think? Did you enjoy it? Was the sound to your liking? I thought it performed pretty well, if I'm honest with you. What we have to remember is this soundbar is an early stage of the technology. It's not also super expensive. Now, it's funny because I tell people it's not expensive and when we talk about soundbars. So this is a retail, I think about $500, $600 like that. Now, that obviously is a lot of money, but when it comes to home cinema, as you well know, these prices skyrocket. My Yara, not my Yara, my Yamaha big system was over a thousand pound, and that's cheap, believe it or not. As you well know, if you're into home cinema, people, I saw a guy once, he paid something like $400 for a HDMI cable. What's the world coming to? I hope it's good, I hope it's bloody really good. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching today's show. I didn't want to make it too long, but I didn't really want to push across what it's like having a Yara 3DX, what it sounds like, and if it's worth you getting one. I hope you have enjoyed, and don't forget, click link, click link, click like, and subscribe, and comment below, and I will be doing a draw for a soundbar. So, thank you for watching, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you soon. Bye! Bye!